Hi, my name is Tom Miles and I am a sculptor living and working in Philadelphia. I've been a sculptor my whole life, although I didn't really realize it until I was in my 30s when I was in graduate school. Over the years I've been hired to do commissions, which are somebody paying you to make stuff. I have three or four commissions public pieces in the city of Philadelphia. Probably the best known one is these 26 foot tall stainless steel sculpture of Ben Franklin on 17th Street over 676 over the Federal Highway. It was commissioned in the 90s by the Franklin Town Corporation. The one thing I keep stressing is we're all artists and everybody is creating and no one should ever be afraid of that fact. We all make things and do things every day, we're all creative and we owe it to ourselves to try to find a way to develop that side of us. What we did is um, we worked for those artists. They would get an idea, like the Bloom Dog. This is Jeff Kuhn's Bloom Dog. Um, he got the idea that the how to make it, and he hired me and my partner, and we came and helped them do the clay model, and then we made a mold and made the first fiberglass copy for him. He had an idea that he wanted to, to take this children's toy and make it big and expensive. He sold this for $75 million, and he sold a couple of dozen of them. Um, this is Brooklyn Borough Hall in New York. It's the, uh, the seat of government in Brooklyn. There's a statue on top of, of justice. Go to the next one. Um, this is a close-up. You can see a guy squatting down there. Uh, 16 feet tall on top of the building. We got this commission uh, because they needed somebody to make it. They didn't need art. They needed somebody to make the object. Follow me piece of plexiglass, two inch thick plexiglass, that I designed the uh, shape in uh, my computer in a program called Rhino, and then I translated it into G-code and I sent it to a three axis carving machine with a mill head and had it cut out. It's great when you hold it up and put light through it, it diffracts light all kinds of wild ways. Uh, Charles Barkley, uh, that's in the Wells Fargo staple, whatever they call it down there, center in South Philly. This is almost life size. Uh, they wanted a portrait of him jumping out of a wall, so they came to us and said, can you make this? Is it art? I don't know, but uh, it was a job. So that's how I made money that month. Was, uh, model in clay, a mold made, cast in fiberglass and painted. But you, you got a three-dimensional object and you want to reproduce it. I want to make, I want to make 10 copies of that water bottle. Okay, that exact water bottle. So I got to make a mold off of it, and then I can cast it into the mold, and I can make ten, ten copies. Right? Everybody's got their own way to make a mold. I've got my way. Everybody else has a way. So when you go into a foundry situation where you're working with other people, and they say you got to make a mold on this piece, you spend the first week arguing about how to make the mold because everybody's got their own idea. The bottom line is to get it made. I made molds very quickly and efficiently and inexpensively. They like to take a lot of time and waste a lot of uh, materials because they were getting paid by the hour, so they didn't care how long it took. I was working on a contract, so the faster I made it, the more money I could make. So you have to be fast and efficient.